the best in the business, Mr. Mark Goddard, about to get this one underway. Three five-minute rounds if they need them in the Cage Warriors featherweight division. Marco Sarasjavi in the white and blue trim. Solomon King Simon in the green and black. I really don't think, are underway. I really don't think they're going to need uh, three rounds to get this one done, Brad. Nice right hand early there from Sarasjavi and good takedown defense here for Simon. Yeah, very nicely done defending that takedown very, very early. Into a double underhook body lock position of his own, trying to take the leg out there. A beautiful takedown, almost passing directly into Mountain there, but having to sell for this half buffalo guard position. And that's a huge bit of bragging rights there for Simon. You know, we know the game plan from Saris Yarvi is to come out and take you down. So for Simon to defend the takedown, score one of his own moments later, it's going to do wonders for his confidence. Yeah, and the good thing about Saul is if you do take him down, he does not settle. He's a hard man to keep on the ground when you do take him down. Um, I've been working with him a little bit with the submissions uh, when he gets up to the gym, and we've been working on certain things, not specifically about this fight, but again he's just so hard just to keep in one spot yeah and you can see that now Marco managed to get him to the floor for a second but pops straight back up and continuing to apply that pressure is the is the fin on top here trying to aggressively get that takedown sorry Avi looking the back step here and pulling the leg out hands break Nice head position from Saul Thiel. Nice knee up the left-hand side there from Simon. And you hear Mark Goddard just asking for a little bit more action from Sarasjavi. Sarasjavi back on the single leg, look for him to step away from the cage. There you go. He's really struggling to finish this takedown, though, and being punished the whole time. Simon mixing up the strikes here. A couple of nice shots, an elbow. Good jab from Sarah Javi in return, though. So the thing with Saul is he's been working extensively with his wrestling with our coach Bill McCann. And he trains a lot with James Sheen, and James Sheen is two weights above him, and a really good wrestler too. So that's where Saul is getting all this set, his good work from. Another shot from Sarah Javi here on that single leg again. Simon delivering that damage as he tries to get taken down. I think with the grip Sarajevi has, he, he can step across for an Uchimaru or a body lock, uh, a body lock Karagoshi, I should say. It, it's not quite a Haragoshi, but it, he steps across two legs and you do get the throw out of it. Um, but he seems to be just looking for that goat wrench around the corner. I mean, certainly one of the stronger positions we've seen him have, but he's really struggling to deal with the power and explosiveness, the physicality of Solomon Simon on top here and delivering some really nice What's ground and pound, a wrestle up attempt from underneath there, but he might get his back taken if he's not careful. Solomon Simon doing damage here. He's cut Sarasjavi with those elbows. He's got to be careful with that shot selection. Sarasjavi able to slow things down a little bit here. Maybe happy to just wear on Solomon Simon a little bit up against the cage and get his wits back about him. To be honest, I actually think it's, if you're Sarah Shavi and you're pushing forward and you've you got to keep Saul in that position, I actually think it's more tiring for Sarah Shavi than it is Saul. Yeah, 100% agree with you. And Simon able to get to the back position now. Sarah Shavi doing a pretty good job of, of staying out from uh, having his back taken with the hooks in. Manages to get back to his feet here, but certainly a bad position to be in. My, on, my only complaint with Saul in the gym is he doesn't string his submissions together one by one. If he's looking for a head and arm, he goes for a head and arm. And it's not head and arm to the back to the arm, but, you know, he doesn't chain them together. And that's my, my, my one uh, gripe with Saul at the minute. I mean, not too much to complain about from Saul in this fight so far, eh? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Sarasjavi getting the hands back to work now. He's got a lot of ground to make up here. Nice super caught under the jab from Saul. So 
Darryl Sharp, he's landed that jab a couple of times, but the effective striking here by far goes to Solomon Simon. A couple of deep breaths here from Sarah Shabby. Yeah, he's been breathing quite heavy for about half this round, to be honest. I think he's really been struggling, throwing all of these aggressive attacks at, at Simon and, and really not getting much in return for it. Looking very relaxed here at the start of this second round. Sarah Shabby is the man with a bit of ground to make up. Nice leg kick early there from Simon. Look for Sarah Shabby to time that takedown, uh, time that leg kick, I should say, and run through for a double leg. Because uh, those two leg kicks seem to afford him, even though Saul did eat one himself. There's that fake for the takedown. There you go. Nice level change there by Sarah Shavi. You know, we have seen get Solomon off his feet though. Yeah, that is the question. You know, we've seen, and there we go. Lovely done, but immediately popping back up. We've seen Sarah Shavi with very deep takedown positions throughout that first round. It's it's not the problem of getting into the position, it's the problem of not just getting the takedown, but actually completing the takedown and maintaining top position afterwards where he's really struggling. And that's what I said at the start, when, even when I get Sal down. I can't hold him down. His wrestling defense is good. Getting back to his feet is even better. Yeah, he just seems to have incredible explosiveness, and it's one of those things you can't really teach. You either have it or you don't, and he certainly looks like he has that explosiveness. Nice level change there, and almost has the hands connected. But again, Simon able to get his back up against the fence and start delivering some elbows to try and damage his opponent whilst... He continues to attempt to try and take him down. Yeah, and Sarashevi, his head is on the wrong side, in the wrong position for the takedown that he wants. It seemed like he wanted a double leg takedown. He goes for a sacrifice throw and uh, just ends up on bottom. Yeah, just the sacrifice there. And again, Solomon able to stop that takedown and land a few shots on the way up. Look for him to try and separate, throw that right elbow, maybe. Sarah Javi just weighing on his man here. He's going to have to do something if he wants to keep this position for any meaningful length of time, though. Mark Goddard taking a close look. Big shoulder shot there from Salt. But if I'm Sarah Shavi and I've attempted this four or five times now, you've got to think I've got to change tactics here. Nice elbows from Simon. Just making Sarah Shavi pay for hanging out in that position. I might come across like I'm being biased, but it's good work from Saul with the wrist control against the cage. And I think that's why Sarah Shabby couldn't really get anything off there in that position. Getting the combinations going now is Solomon. And you do have the wonder pull, you know, like you said, he's, Sarah Shabby's tried the same strategy for coming up to two rounds now and he's been pretty much completely unsuccessful in all of those attempts does he change up the strategy or is he because it seems that he's using a lot of energy to try and get these takedowns and none of that output is really paying off at all and now possibly even an anaconda choke going to be set up here by solomon simon i can't quite see whether he's connecting the arms there but he's certainly got a head and arm position no alex to stand up instead yeah look you were saying i think that's maybe the fifth or sixth double leg uh, entry he's gone into and hasn't success uh, has success with it what do you do next do you try and clinch up do you let the hands go but he's got to change something in my opinion you know it's not just not having the success either solomon's making him pay on all, all these takedown attempts there's, there's uppercuts coming through there's elbows being landed there's a right uppercut again from solomon simon steps back off the jab there looking very very confident Sarah Shavey just cut over the uh, left eye. Same again, double leg entry. 
Don't know if he has his hands quite clasped. Yes, he does. Looking to take the back. I mean, one, certainly one of the deeper positions we've seen him get him hit, getting hit, but we know that Solomon Simon has the power. If Sarashovi does get his back on the ground, he's going to be having to fight really, really hard to try and keep him there. And you know, 10 seconds left, it's not going to be enough for this round. Well, this is where Sarashovi got his rear neck, standing rear naked choke down, down in Rome from this very position. Stop. Sarashovi looking like he's been through the grinder for two rounds, and Solomon looking fresh as a daisy. Third and final round underway here in Dublin. Now you do have the wonder uh, whether that last little clinch position where, where Sarah Sharby was able to get a bit deeper into that. Big right hand there from Sarah Sharby. I do apologize there, uh, Dan. Yeah, you've got to wonder whether that gives uh, Sarah Sharby a little bit of confidence to perhaps continue that strategy that maybe, you know, he, he got a little bit closer than he has done, but. Again, I mean, he doesn't seem to be making much grounds in this, in these attempts. As I say that, of course, he Beautiful. gets the first takedown. Beautiful, a Uchigari, a Cole Uchigari. Uh, sorry, I should say from the inside. But you can see Simon straight away. He's looking to get frames. He's looking to push with the knees, get the feet on the hips, and he's just going to push himself backwards until he either stands up or he gets his back to the fence where he can use it to stand up. He's got to be careful with this heavy left underhook in the position that Sarah Shavy is, is in, that he doesn't get his neck taken, which is, uh, it looks like he's going to drop back in for a guillotine or stand up and take it around the back. And there we go. Back to his feet. I mean, still in this guillotine position. It's not super strong here, and that is a huge mistake to sit backwards with that. I was just going to say, if you take that guillotine position, snap down, get your opponent low, try and wrestle off of it. The last thing you want to do, and certainly the, the third round of an MMA fight, is to try and jump into a guard position with that guillotine from when the person's so upright, you're just going to slip off. Yeah, I think Dustin Party has said the same thing a couple of times. Lover to share, I mean, the list goes on. There's a lot of uh, really fatal mistakes that have happened. Uh, maybe just a bit of fatigue playing into that one. It did look uh, quite uh, lethargic. You know, but if you're a Sarah Shave and you're in the third round and you think you have a guillotine locked up, and you think you're going to be able to finish your man, what do you do? Really nice elbow there from Solomon. Putting points on the board here with a watch that triangle. triangle attempt. Going for the arm Richard bar. Richard for an arm bar here. I think he's going to go back to the triangle. Yep. Still on the Elmo Platte, he has inside that wrist control. And he has an underhooker with his right arm on the left leg of Simon, so he, he might has try options. And, he might try and invert here and either try and use this to sweep or actually try and bring his, his uh, right knee on the inside here and even possibly try and attack the legs. It's, it's nice to see this aggressive guard work off of the back here. Dele Heva position here, he's going to try to take the it. back off of it. Don't hold it. If I'm Sal, I back away. But this is great work here from Sarajevi uh, in the third round. Absolutely, yeah. He's certainly not making it easy for Solomon Simon here. He's going to try and wrestle up from this position, but it's not just enough energy to really get much power on these things and a lot of ground and pound nasty and straight into mount here from Solomon Simon. The crowd here in Dublin really reacting to everything that Solomon Simon does here. Unashamedly partisan. Sal has that far wrist control on the left side, making it hard for Sarah Shavy just to turn back in. I think there's going to be some big shots here. Sarah Shavy rolling through for a knee bar. Yeah, he's struggling the, to, to roll through here. That left arm of Simon keeping control on that right wrist. Grip's broken here as Sarah Shavy tries to get back to the feet. Solomon's opened up that cut again. Not going to have too much of an impact on the fight, but a great indicator of the damage some of those short shots have done. I'd like to see Saul get a little bit busier here in that pos this position. Let some strikes off. And back to the centre. Just pushes his man off there, and he's got a minute to go to work. Gets that jab going. Stand in head and arm. He uses it to try and take the back position here. Takes the legs out of his opponent. 
He still has the grip down. I mean, he might, if he pulls his leg out, he might actually try and finish this. What a turn up for the books this would be if Solomon Simon I can't quite see submit Saris Yavi. There looks like there's quite a bit of space inside there, but if he can shoot that arm through a little bit deeper and sink a little bit more, I'm not sure he's going to be able to get it, but if he makes a, a, a just a couple of little adjustments here, if he can release that leg, he can get a little bit more of an angle from side control. But you know, in the final 10 seconds. I see Sarashabi grimacing. He's squeezing it. There he is! Unbelievable! What a finish from Solomon Simon. Paul, you've got to be happy with that. Look, I try not to be biased in these points. I try to call him the way I see him. I try not to jump down my seat, but that's, that's a very, very good performance against a very uh, solid. Um, Solomon Simon in this position is just squeezing with all of his power and is able to get the tap there even if the position was not absolutely ideal. Just a, a, an incredibly flawless performance all round basically. And Solomon Simon becomes just the third man to submit Sarah Shavi in mixed martial arts. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Mark Goddard, calls a stop to this contest after four minutes and 49 seconds of round number three, declaring your winner by way of arm triangle in the red corner, Solomon King Simon. Huge third round submission win with just about 10 seconds on the clock there for Solomon's King Simon. 3-0 now as a professional and looking set to take the Cage Warriors featherweight division by storm.